Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I should actually say welcome back from my kind of month-ish long break. So if you don't know, I took a little break just to like focus on my exams in my final month of the semester and I am back, hopefully. I still have some exams to go, but just two and they're not stressing too, too much about them. I might start stressing on the day or the day before, but for now I'm not, I'm, I'm okay, I'm cool. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a very exciting one. I have a very exciting package right there. This package has the most exciting thing I can think of at the moment. I cannot believe it's right there, I cannot wait to open it. And you know what it is because it's in the title and or in the thumbnail. <laughs> but as I'm filming right now, like, I, I don't have it yet in my hands, but I'm so excited we're gonna open it soon. There's going to be an unboxing, a tiny unboxing there, and then also a book shopping vlog. And I do have some books to show off, so there's gonna be a haul after. Also, do you like my little plushy family? This is the first one I made. She looks so cute. I don't know. I wanna give them names. I don't know if I should, but the second one I made was the blue one. I love this one. I love the yarn I used. Then I attempted one with a uh, thinner. It's like this skinny shiny yarn. I tried making a baby one, but it's a little bit <laughs> wonky looking. Look at, she's like, this is the only one that has a name at the moment. It's Roger and I love him. His paws slash, what do you call them? Duck feet, I don't know. Are a bit funny looking. They're not pointing in the same direction. We love him anyways. And then I attempted to make a bee the other day. The eyes aren't uh, secured in. And also the wings aren't really equal but i hope you enjoyed my little plushy intermission <laughs> but for now we're gonna head over to the bookstore i already went i'm just filming this before as if i'm going right now i already went and then we're gonna come back and i'm gonna show you the books i got and then we're also going to unbox the thing i need to unbox i'm so excited so let's go to the bookstore <laughs> So let me show you the books I got. I got three of them. One of them like was the reason why I went to the bookstore. The other two were like impulse buys, kind of. I tried to limit myself to three because I knew I had this thing in my box there. So I didn't need that many books, if you know what I mean. So first book I got is Rock, Paper, Scissor, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I have no idea what this is about except that it's a thriller and it's also messing up my lighting. But I've also heard like just good things in general without knowing what it's about exactly. I'm pretty sure like every time I would think about it at the bookstore, I would go to see if they had it and then they didn't. So like I never actually got it. But today I thought of it 
and they had it so I got it. It's about a married couple I guess. There's secrets between them. That is what I'm getting from the back of this. And honestly with like thrillers, I think this is a thriller right? So I got this book. I'm very excited to read it. I need to read more thrillers because I know I love them but I also don't have a big collection of them so I try not to like read through my collection and then like need more but I'm like slowly growing that collection so I can actually read them without worrying that I won't have like anything else to read. First book I got at the bookstore, this was an impulse buy, I just thought of it, went to look for it, they had it, so I grabbed it. The next book, if you've been like following me for a while, like since I started TikTok, and actually I looked up when I actually read this book before, it was in the summer of 2021, so it's been almost three summers, well it's gonna be three years this summer, and basically I, I judged this book a bit too harshly, and I know that like present me would love this book more than past me did so i decided to buy the book again because i got rid of it <laughs> and now i'm like i want to read it so i got it again people we meet on vacation by emily henry you know this book it's a very popular book and it is if i'm remembering right it's a good chance romance i remember it goes like back and forth to like this summer and the summer in the past but that's pretty much all i remember from it which is good because i can go into it again with like a clean slate and i am really excited to read it i do like i want to do a reread of, of emily henry's books because i want to annotate them when i read them i didn't i only annotated uh happy play as you can see i do have a vlog about this one if you want to watch it but when i read beach read and book lovers i wasn't annotating much back then so i didn't um but i do want to reread them i love those books so i i want to reread them so i decided to get this one too just add it to my reread hopefully like it more and it's also like the perfect summer book so like i shouldn't complain i really did judge it way too harshly back then i don't know why why i guess i have some strong opinions about it i want to reread it and give it another chance so i got it for that reason so i'm very excited to have it again i'm pretty sure the issue with this is i tried it on audiobook realize now that i don't like audiobooks at least not right now maybe one day um but maybe it was like partially why so i have it physical i had it physical back then but i also had it audiobook i don't know what i was doing okay probably like reading it on paper is going to make me like it even more so i am hopeful I am very hopeful. Ooh, maybe I should do I should do a vlog for each of these that I reread. Probably not gonna reread Happy Place, not right now at least. Um, but for sure like Beach Read, this one, and Book Lovers. Maybe like three separate vlogs for these. That could be fun. I got this book, I'm very excited. I'm gonna take a photo with all of my Emily Henry books. They look so good together. And the last book, I don't know if I'm more excited about this book or what's in the box, but like I'm so excited about this book. I have like three auto buy authors. I've got Emily Henry. I have Ali Hazelwood and I have Maisie Eddings. So if they have a book coming out, I'm like counting down the days. And Emily Henry for this book, definitely counting down the days. And I got even more excited when I saw a review on Goodreads that said that the guy in this book is giving Nick Miller. Nick Miller is one of my fictional boyfriends. <laughs> I have this in my hands. It's physical in my hands. I'm so excited to jump into this. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm excited to see how much I'm gonna like it. Because right now, my rating for Emily Henry's books are Beach Read, Happy Place, Book Lover, People Who Been on Vacation. So I'm curious to see where this one goes. My ranking's gonna go differently after I reread People Who Make on Vacation. I will definitely do a reading vlog for this book like I did for Happy Place. I'm so excited to read it. And I don't know a thing about it. I only know that the guy is giving Nick Miller. And he looks like him. Can you guys see what I mean? Like the sideburn and his hair and then like the red shirt. Ooh, she has a fiance. So I guess it's not like a meet cute type of book. They're already together. Oh, her fiance is actually in love with somebody else. So never mind that. <laughs> so like she might fall in love with her ex fiance's new fiance's ex. So like the ex of his ex fiance's now fiance it's confusing but i get it i think i get it oh and i showed you this in the video of the vlog the store but it's pink underneath look at that how pretty that is oh my gosh and it looks so summery too because they are drinking lemonade at what seems to be like a bar and also the side there's a bunch of lemons and I love it. And this color, what is this color? Is this indigo? Is this what indigo is? Am I the only one who doesn't know exactly what indigo is? Cause like it's not blue blue and it's not like purple, but it's like in between. And is this indigo? Cause somebody tell me. All right, so we've talked about, we've talked about, I just need to open the box, okay? Let me just open the box. I, I have a box here. You guys know what's inside because I put it in the thumbnail. 
and in the title the box is open i'm sorry i'm so excited i've been i i never thought i would get one but here i am i've been wanting this um for a few months now and i finally did it <laughs> i've only seen this on tiktok i've only seen other people with it Is it weird that I'm like, like this excited for it? I got the Kindle Paperwhite. I also have the uh, Kindle Unlimited for three months free. Oh my gosh. This is like a brand new reading experience and I have just achieved it. Should I open, should I open, should I take it out of the plastic? I should probably take out the instructions first. Wait, I should open up the next package before I touch this. This is not as exciting, but it's going to protect <laughs> my new Kindle because I'm very clumsy. So it's a case, it's a clear white case. I want to do like all of the girlies on TikTok and put like stickers without actually sticking them. And I also have a purple pop socket coming in tomorrow. Like, this feels like such a big purchase, like a grown-up purchase. Like, I am a grown-up, but it's a big purchase. <laughs> I don't know if this is, like, the case that everybody gets. It's the one I got. It's pretty straightforward. It is clear white. Hopefully, it works with this. It should. It does. Now, I'm a bit less scared. What the hell? Is it telling me to turn it on? Hello? It keeps just like get going away and then coming back. Okay, let me try to show you what it does. It does that. So I'll I'll try to figure out what's happening. What's happening? I don't know. This is so fun. I can't believe this. I'm not gonna bore you more with this. Here's my haul. I have a Kindle. Three new physical books added to my collection. Amazing. Leave you guys here with this. <laughs> I'm gonna go um, spend the rest of the day. I'm gonna go play around with this, try to figure it out, maybe read something, start reading something just for fun. Yeah, how do I end my videos again? I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited for more videos. Like I said, I have some vlogs coming up for the Emily Henry books throughout the summer probably because there are pretty like nice summer books. So if you're into that kind of video, you might want to subscribe and just so like keep up with me. I don't know, on my Instagram, my TikTok, whatever, wherever it is that you do things for books. Uh, <laughs> I also have like crochet things now. I have my Etsy that I think I talked about briefly on this channel before but i also have a tiktok and an instagram now that i'm gonna post a lot more on i'll have that all linked down below for you if you ended up at the end of the video comment down which one which one of these plushies is your favorite that's what you gotta do if you made it here i would love to know i love all of them equally ish i like these two the best thank you so so much for watching my video i hope you have a lovely day after this make sure to drink some water and I will see you in the next one. Bye.